invite you back to uh, session six of our series, Choosing Joy. Uh, we hope that this has been a joyful uh, series for you and really opened up some uh, perspective for you to discover and choose joy, even in the difficult times, even in the challenging circumstances that we all face, that we all go through. Uh, today, we're going to be continuing uh, this series, and I wanted to kind of open up with, with this conversation. I, I don't want to get political, but I want to point out something that will be very obvious to all of us. I don't know if you realize this, but there is a lot of division politically in our country right now, right? And, and one of the things that we can all agree on is when there is division, the ball does not get moved down the field. I mean, think about it. We as a country have been so politically divided for such a while that nothing virtually gets accomplished. I mean, the government doesn't get anything done. We look and they say stuff, they do their speeches, they do their spill, time goes by and nothing ever happens because they can't come to agreement because they are so at each other's throat. They are so against each other. Now let's use the opposite. The Patriots won the Super Bowl uh, this past year and uh, they, were, they, they had the greatest comeback in history and you wonder, how do these guys keep winning. I mean, yeah, the only staple people are Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, but they keep winning Super Bowls over the last almost 20 years. It's like insane. And it's because they rally around a unified goal. They are focused on the same thing, even though they probably have different ideas. They, they submit those things and they rally together and there's unity and they're able to actually move the ball down the field. Now, I'll be honest with you. I think from watching that game, I think the Falcons were more talented. They had more skilled players, but the Patriots obviously were more unified and focused and were able to obviously deliver and win. The Falcons didn't rise up. The Fal they didn't, didn't rise, rise up. up. That's right. For all the Falcon fans out there, we love you. Okay. Uh, but, but you see the difference between what's going on politically in our country and then something like, obviously, it's a smaller example with football. But you see the difference when there's unity and when there's division. So here's a question I, I wanna ask us today, and that is, are you as a person a uniter or a divider? Uh, like, do you spend your time and your energy and your thought trying to think about how can I bring people together? How can I rally us around the mission of Jesus, right? Because we're not talking about just unity for the sake of unity. We're talking about for a purpose that's way bigger than Super Bowls, mm -hmm. way bigger than politics. It's about the greatest reason we exist, the main reason we exist, and that is for God and his purpose. Uh, are you a uniter or are you a divider? Are you more concerned about what you want, your thing, uh, your kid, your whatever, uh, rather than the greater purpose? Uh, because here's something that I know is true and that is that unity, man, it brings joy in our lives. It brings joy to life. I mean, you've been around people, you've been in situations where you've just experienced this incredible joy because of the unity. Now, let me be clear. Unity does not mean we get along, okay? Think about it. There are a lot of people who've been married for many years. They've lived in the same house. They haven't fought that much, but their marriage is not really that great. Like, so... You, from the outside, you could go, okay, there's unity, but really there's not unity because it's not life-giving. The same, there's churches right. where they don't ever have a fight, but they're not reaching anybody. They're not moving the ball down the field. Um, would you guys have any examples that you've seen in your own life? Yeah, I mean, I've been a part of the situations, you know, where, you know, everything appeared from the outside to be unified, like there was no conflict, everything was great. Uh, there may have been a slight sense of joy, but nothing was accomplished. Like we'd gather and we'd have these goals and we're going to do this, do this, and then, but nothing ever happened because um, at the end of the day, we didn't get to the main point. We didn't get to the focus, and that is mm -hmm. obviously reaching people. Um, <clears throat> you see it, uh, like you said, you see it in marriage, like even from the first marriage. Um, it says that man leaves mother and father and becomes one. Mm -hmm. And uh, a marriage that's not united is a marriage that doesn't move. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you see it from the first marriage even to my own. I see mm -hmm. it often. Like if, if we're not consistent in pursuing intentionally to be unified, then we're not moving yeah, together. Yeah, actually, that's why we're here today, Kenny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. DJ and I are going to have a talk with you. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. We know you're awesome, man. Yeah. Awesome, new dad, loving life. It's awesome. Yes. So check out what uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 14 through 18 says. It says, do everything without grumbling or arguing. 
Now, when he says everything, he's ta- you got to read that in context. He's talking about as a church, as the, the work of Jesus, right? Now, there's going to be times where we, we have arguments, where we have debates. Uh, but in this context, we have to understand, do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure, children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Man, isn't that a reality today? I mean, this American culture is so warped. It's so crazy. The next ver- or the next part of verse 15 and then into 16 is so powerful. He says, the reason that we should not be grumbling and arguing as the body of Christ, the reason that would, we should be focused on becoming blameless and pure is what he says next. He says, then when you do that, you will shine among them like stars in the sky as you hold firmly to the word of life. Man, what a powerful statement. As I think about us as the church, as I think about what we've been called to, how critical it is that we as a people shine like stars among this crooked, broken culture and this generation that we live in. We as the church must uh, remove our, uh, the way in which we may want it and, and refocus our hearts and our minds around getting the ball down the field, the call that Jesus has put on us, which is so incredible. And what happens is when we do that, and we talked about this in the last session, about choosing others over ourselves and having the same mindset as Jesus. When we do that, it actually brings more joy into our lives. Mm -hmm. Before we do it, we think, no, 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 I need what I need. And really our focus is on happiness. It's Mm -hmm. temporary. Mm -hmm. But when we remove that focus and we focus it on what God's called us to, and, and we, we, we have the same mindset of Jesus, what actually happens is we actually experience the true joy because we as a people are moving the ball down the field. We're reaching people. We're making a difference in the world. We're seeing God work and we're shining like stars mm-hmm. amongst people who are in desperate need of Jesus. Yeah, and it's, it's also an opportunity. We can see uh, differences uh, as an opportunity when we hold on to unity mm-hmm. even though we're different that can be an opportunity for us to grow. Like, I, I can speak from just a, a personal experience of been in groups before where that first... Talking about life groups. Life groups, life groups. Mm-hmm. Um, been that, that first meeting, walk in and think, man, Hannah and I were like, we're never going to get along with that couple or that guy or that gal. Oh, goodness. That's probably what they were thinking about. <laughs> that, I, absolutely. <laughs> I know. I know they were. Uh, uh, because I bring my own mess into every situation. But... The, the thing is, after the years or after those, those couple months that we were meeting, some of those people that I initially thought, goodness, you know, how are we ever going to click? Because we kept working towards unity, they're some of my dearest friends today, mm. even though we don't live in the same state. Um, the other thing is that it is a huge uh, uh, message to people who are looking into Christianity. Mm. You know, if we're just like rah, 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 bickering all the time about this, that, the other thing, then we're like, but come join our team. You know, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. I mean, that's what we're saying when we're like, yeah, Jesus is awesome. But no, 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 no. And then we're like, like try to share it with somebody and they're like, I don't want any of that. I don't want that. Yeah, I've got enough problems in my life with my job and with, you know, my finances and all this other stuff. The last thing I want to do is be around a bunch of grumbling Christians no and people, way. you know, fussing and fighting and those type things for sure. Man, no doubt about it. Paul writes as he continues, he says, if you do this, if you shine like stars, then I will be able to boast on the day of Christ that I did not uh, run or labor in vain. He's talking about when Jesus returns, man, it's gonna be awesome for me as, as the servant of Jesus. But even if I am being poured out like a drink offering on, this, uh, on the sacrifice and service coming from your faith, I am glad and rejoice. I have joy with all of you. So you too should be glad and rejoice with me. As Paul writes these words, man, he's just reminding us of what it's all about. Uh, it's all about Jesus. It's all about uh, shining for him together and that uh, the work that we do is so, so important. Uh, and Paul writes, and he has this positive attitude from prison. And you know, he's writing this letter from prison. Where have you guys uh, seen in your life where when there was unity, how it made such a huge difference. Um, And you you were talking a minute ago about, uh, you know, 
people don't always necessarily believe the exact details of everything, but it's being rallied around the main thing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really important point for us, specifically mm -hmm. at Vaughn Force, because we're such a diverse church, which is such a beautiful, incredible thing. We're so diverse. And not only racially, but from different parts of the country. We have people literally from every corner of the country, of the world. It's such a cool thing. Uh, and, and we all come together from our different backgrounds and all those things, and those things can kind of uh, make us have certain perspectives. And to lay those things down for the greater purpose, man, such a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, not, not to uh, toot our own horn or anything, but like one of the, one of the places I've seen unity uh, succeed is, is Yvonne Forrest in the last eight months I've been here and the student ministry and church wide. And honestly, if, if it wasn't for unity, I don't believe Von Forrest would be where it's at today. And not, not, it's not that we have arrived, uh, but I don't think we'd be where we're at today if it wasn't for the unity uh, in, in the church. And, um, you know, it's been encouraging, you know. Uh, we don't see people walking around grumbling. We don't see people arguing. And because of that, I believe we're beginning to, to like, just be get, a, get a glimpse of reaching the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no doubt about it. And beginning to shine like stars in the sky as we hold firmly to the word of life. Like, we are so lasered in on Jesus, loving him supreme, mm -hmm. loving others, and then loving ourselves. That's where Joy's found. We've talked about that J-O-Y mm -hmm. over and over again. But it's such a simple, I'm a simple person. It's simple for me, so it helps me remember. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, man, starting to see uh, that breakthrough and that growth and that life change begin to happen is such a beautiful and powerful thing. Mm -hmm. And as we look back, from 2015 to 16 to see all that God did uh, is such a great uh, joy and it truly is an incredible thing, especially, you know, we as, as people who serve in ministerial roles here at the church and it's just an incredible blessing in our lives and really just does incredible things in our heart as we see God work in that way. Uh, but I believe we're just at the beginning. Yes. I truly believe that and yeah. we've got to fight for unity. We've got to remind ourselves on a consistent daily, weekly, monthly, ongoing basis that this is about Jesus. This is about sharing the good news of Christ with other people. And as we fight for unity, as we lift up the name of Jesus, man, God does uh, incredible things mm -hmm. in and through his church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It really, get, it really speaks uh, high to um, just how big Jesus is because mm -hmm. Even around this table, there's only three of us, but there's so many differences. Mm -hmm. and, and God is bringing us together. That really points to, wow, he's so much bigger than this. And when we were talking about Von Forrest, I mean, I remember the first time that I walked into the auditorium and I thought, man, this is amazing to see people from all over the world, all different backgrounds, united because of Jesus. Jesus is the mm -hmm. common denominator in everyone's life that brought mm -hmm. us to that place. Mm -hmm. It makes much of him. Mm -hmm. He's so much bigger than all of our differences. That's yeah. right. really cool. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and that's what ultimately brings Jesus. And I think it goes back to what we looked at in the session prior to this is have the same mind, have the same vision, yeah. have, have be united around what God's called us to. So, man, what an incredible joy to do that with yeah. you guys. And I hope as you continue uh, this conversation from our table to yours that God will continue to just draw us together, bring us together, and do incredible things. Thank you guys so much for being part.